White and Road is one of our favorite things to do every year. It's a time of the year when uh, the business slows down a little bit and we get to go out and enjoy time with our customers on our road bikes and it's a beautiful part of the state. About this time every fall people start to put their motorcycles away. They go in the garage and you don't see them until spring. But some of the best riding of the year is actually in the fall when the leaves are changing, the air is crisp and you have just a very different perspective on nature. And that is what Red, White and Road is all about. The get together is centered around the small Utah town of Torrey. This is an artist community that's very beautiful, very fresh, and it's been a very special place for the Stedmans for many years. Well, we originally started going down there hunting in the 70s, so we've been going there lots of years, and it's just one of those areas that no matter who you are or where, where you're from, when you come to that place, there's so much beauty that surrounds Torrey that, you know, you got red rocks on one side, you got the big mountains on the other side. It's just, just beautiful. Every year we all get together and we head out on Highway 12. Now, if you've never ridden Highway 12 before, this is one of the most spectacular areas in the world. We head up into the mountains and you get to see the colors in all their glory. Then we head down the hog's back and you see the rocky splendor of the West like nowhere else on earth. You know, it's one of those rides that you can't really describe. It is, it's considered one of the top 10 motorcycle rides in the nation, not just Utah, in the nation. So Highway 12 route on a motorcycle even if you're from back east, you know about this ride. It, you go from the Alpines up to the big uh, mountains to the tops, and then like I say, the Razorback, you're looking down on Calf Creek Falls. It's, it's amazing, it really is a beautiful ride. Now generally along the way, we take a couple of side trips down the Burr Trail and even do a little bit of hiking. And then we're heading into Kodachrome Basin, which if you've never been here, it is an epic landscape. Every bit as jaw-dropping as Zion or Bryce or any of the national parks in Utah. You get a lot of the red rocks, you get, um, it, it, it kind of is similar to Goblin Valley, but it's all red, and that was where we had lunch, and it is, I didn't get enough time to spend there, but I love that place, and, I'm, and we're stopping there again this year, it's, it's going to be great. It is exquisite. If you're planning on putting your bike away already, you need to rethink that and join us for Red, White & Road 2015. We've got food, friends, and one of the most incredible rides you will take all year. The great part about this ride is it's not just a one day ride. We want you to come down to Torrey on the Friday the 25th and then stay the night there and the ride is actually on the 26th and it's a, it's a fairly full day ride. Um, there's accommodations in Torrey, there's accommodations in Bicknell that's only about five miles outside of Torrey and then if you'd like for a really pretty place there's as you go down to Capitol Reef there's a couple of accommodations in that area. Make sure you sign up at AYL before the 22nd of September because you'll get $5 off your reservation. So book early and come and join us. Well, Red, White & Road is taking place September 25th and 26th in Torrey, Utah. You can sign up at AYLTV.com. This is going to be an amazing ride, as you've seen. Some of the most beautiful terrain in the West that you can ride through. And really, this is the last big motorcycle event of 2015. We hope to see you there. Sign up now. It's only $40. Well, I'm Stephen Human for At Your Leisure. We need to take a commercial break. When we come back, we'll show off more of this river and more of the adventure that you can have here in Provo.